What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nonfiction. This is Real Fan Sports, and I'm your fanless for this evening. And in this series, Zach and I will both be giving you our 2023-2024 NFL predictions game by game for each team. Let's get into it. Okay, all right. So up next, we have the Green Bay Packers. Now, the Green Bay Packers ended their season uh, with a record of 8-9, and nine, also with a different quarterback at the helm, Aaron Rodgers, who is now with the Jets. And now they have Jordan Love at the helm. He's only really played about 10 games in his time, and his record is a 3-7, and seven, to my understanding. I don't want to say that this year is a make or break for him. He's been in the NFL for, I think this is going on to his third season. Unfortunately, of course, he's been behind, you know, Aaron Rodgers, who himself was behind, Brett Favre. You know, Brett Favre went to the Jets. Now Aaron Rodgers going to the Jets. And now they also have a, a quarterback who's been sitting behind Aaron Rodgers for three seasons. It's very interesting cycle. Now the question is, will Jordan Love, just like the two previous quarterbacks, will he do the same thing? Will he continue in their footsteps and have, you know, fairly illustrious career? As we see coming into his technically first season as the full-time starter, no questions about it. Because of all the moves that Green Bay has made, they had 13 draft picks this season. They did lose a lot they lost a lot this past uh offseason but they gained so much when it comes to youth so they're definitely building towards a future you know everything might not come together this season but they're building toward an actual future and that's a good thing and hopefully jordan love can just have a decent season it doesn't have to be crazy but if he had this season and kind of prove himself you know being in that quarterback position he can still find himself at the helm for green bay next season this is going to be a very interesting season for the packers they're only favored in I want to say about four or five games throughout the entire season and then their expectations are close to about seven maybe six wins let's get into this prediction like i said first up we have Green Bay at Chicago. Aaron Rodgers has a record of 25-5 and five against the Bears. They swept the Bears last season up. I think in this season, I don't know if I feel the same way. But in this first game, sorry Packers fans, I'm going Bears. All right, game two. Green Bay at Atlanta. I lean towards Jordan Love. I feel like he will have a better game against them. Even though it's in Atlanta, I think he still will have a better game. So we're going to go Green Bay. Now as we pull into game three, week three, which is on another Sunday afternoon, we have the Saints coming into town into wisconsin and this one i do think the saints are the better team they have a better nucleus they have a better defense i think for the most part so we're gonna run saints saints over green bay we head into week four lions at green bay this one I, i'm gonna give to jared goff and the lions on thursday night football we will be live on that thursday night for this game every monday night and every thursday night now heading into week five green bay in las vegas for the raiders on monday night okay i'm going to go with the Raiders. I think they have a better opportunity to win that game, especially at home. Going into week six, they win week six because it's the bye. And now we're going to week seven, Green Bay at Denver. And if you guys been seeing our previous videos, you know that Zach nor I are kind of really super high on Denver because we just don't know what they're going to get, how they looked last year. I know it's a different coaching situation. They brought in a few new pieces. Hopefully they'll actually use their tight ends this year. Hopefully Judy will actually catch the ball and not have bricks for hands. Sutton, hopefully he shows up. So, I mean, I hope they have a good season. I I, I prefer them to lose all the time because I'm a Raiders fan, but I'm going to go Green Bay. Going to week eight, Vikings coming to visit, coming to town to visit the Cheesehead Nation. <laughs> We're going to go Vikings. I don't I don't think Green Bay is going to be Vikings. But then we go week nine, LA into Green Bay. We're going to give it to Green Bay. Week 10 has already been done for us. That goes to the Steelers. Week 11, Chargers visiting Green Bay. I got to give it to Herbert. I think Herbert's a better quarterback. Now, the question is if they're healthy. If they're, if they're not healthy, Green Bay would probably eke out the win with like they'll go. But if they're healthy Chargers definitely win that game going to week 12 green bay at detroit i don't want to say detroit's gonna sweep green bay we're gonna give that one to, to green bay now week 13 we have the chiefs coming into town to green bay the chiefs are just a better team all around so i'm gonna go on sunday afternoon chiefs now green bay at new york this one on a Monday night. Once again, we will be live for that game on Monday night. As long as the power is on and we have access to TV, we will be here. I want to give it to Green Bay. So I'm thinking I'm in Green Bay. Tampa Bay at Green Bay. I'm going Green Bay with that one. Green Bay at, at Panthers. I'm going to go Green Bay. So week 17, Green Bay at Vikings. Do I think the Vikings would sweep? I kind of do. I still do feel like Minnesota is going to have a much better season. Vikings have what it really takes to beat them. Like they have all the pieces. I'm going to give them a split. I'm going to be generous. I'm going to give them a split. 
even though I, I'm not too sure about that one. I'm not too sure. And week 18, also first game and last game. That's isn't that cute? That's a Chicago Bears sandwich for the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> but I think this sandwich is gonna bite back. <laughs> On both occasions, um, do I think the Bears are going to win this game? I don't know if I don't pick Green Bay. Cheesehead, a few of the fans that we know support Green Bay are going to be so upset. As much as I want to see that team take a leap, I'm just not 100% sure. So we're going we're gonna to be generous. We're going to give it to Green Bay. So we're going to scroll back up and see what this final tally is. Please don't shoot the messenger. Okay, not 9-8. It's, it's not amazing, but it's, it's still technically better than last year. Now, I know that's not what everybody wants to see, but I think I think I was kind of fair. Not too many people really have an idea of what this team is going to be because the Jordan Love experiment doesn't start until this Sunday coming up for the first week of uh, football. I think that's not a bad record. I'm okay with that. I know everybody's going to be okay with that. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel to hit thumbs up. If you don't like what you see, still subscribe. Still hit thumbs up. Put notifications on and tell me what I did wrong. And don't be like some fans and just be like mean. But just seriously, we want people to conversate with us and rebuttal what we talk about. So with that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your night. My name is Not Fiction. This is Real Fan Sports. Appreciate you. We love you. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, y'all. This was respectable.